News Jack Royer spoke to one woman whose bill is close to 10 thousand American dollars and she's not sure why Jack. Yeah Jim she's not at all. She's lost sleep for months worrying about this as her water being off is just the least of her worries. The company is threatening to put a lien on her Lakeview home to get money from her for what she calls bogus charges that she says she simply doesn't owe. Bills Nicole here. Sloan's water has been and, uh, shut off for weeks despite her will to pay her bill. Like she claims the Lakeview Sewer Service, Service is sending back her checks and hiking up the price. This one is for $9,906.95. It's been going on since January. She admits after her husband was laid off from his job, they did miss a few payments. But since then, she's been sending checks every month for the amount owed. Until that amount went up, dozens of added charges and several bills. Bills totaling over 10,000 bucks a piece. The only thing I know is it's crazy to pay a $92 for this year and then get a ten, close to $11,000 bill. The sewer company doesn't have a listed permanent address, just a P.O. box where Sloan sends her checks. It's a private company that's supposed to be governed by a four person committee. One of those members is a town councilwoman, Nancy Ray. The mayor says that's clearly not working. They are the ones that have control. Uh, over what's done. I'm not sure that that's happening in, here in Lakeview. His solution set up a task force to investigate. The mayor says that's his first step to solving what, for some families, has been a crisis. Sloan just wants the padlock to come off her water line. And I want it to where my water is turned back on because I pay my water bill. I, you know, I don't owe the water company anything. I just want it to where everything is fixed. Months of anxiety over sewer bills for Lakeview residents just trying to get out of hot water. I talked to Nicole Sloan just a few minutes before this newscast. She says she's not feeling much better after tonight's city council meeting where all she was given was a form to fill out to complain. One more way to express her problem. She does say she plans on filing a complaint with the state attorney general as well and will be following up to make sure nobody pays money that they don't owe. Reporting live tonight, Jack Royer, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.